In 31, we're asked to sketch the region that lies above the cone, z, equal, uh, z squared equals x squared plus y squared with z non-negative, and inside the sphere, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 2 a, uh, z, where a is a positive constant. Okay? So, oops. So this is a cone, and. All right, x squared plus y squared, oops, plus z squared equals 2az. Now here a is a positive constant. Now, firstly, let's simplify the equation associated with the sphere. Anybody know what, what the equation of, the, of, of this sphere is? Uh, of, of what the equation represents? Well, we know it's a sphere, but the first question is, what is its radius and where is it centred? That's the, that's the big... Once we sort of have that, we can... You know, ha we have a basic understanding of, of what's going on. Anybody know how we can simplify the, this thing up here? Well, I just completed the square in Z. OK, so... Basically, I want to have something squared plus something squared plus something squared equals a constant. So all I've done is I've completed the square in Z. So I get the following. Okay, I can take that to the other side. I've taken half the coefficient of z and added it to both sides. Okay? When you're completing a square, it's all about the coefficient of z in this case, 2a. I've taken half that, squared it, added it to both sides, and then factorised over the z. Okay, you should check that. These sort of methods can save you a lot of, a lot of um, fooling around. So, we immediately know now that the center is here and A is just the radius. Now, the question asks us to sketch the region and describe the curve of intersection of the two surfaces and they talk about projection of the region into the xy plane. So I'll talk about projection in a minute. Okay? So let's actually sketch these things. So there's our cone. And our circle will be something similar. Oh, sorry, our sphere, I beg your pardon. Now, Yes. Ah, uh, yes, but we're looking at the. It, yeah, it does. You're absolutely right. But we, we're just interested in the section above, above the sphere and below. Uh, sorry, above the cone and below the sphere. Okay. So, so technically, you're absolutely right. Now, it turns out that. If I label A here, this circle and this circle 
is the curve of intersection of the two surfaces. So how do I determine that? Uh, well, I guess before I do that, let's actually draw... Well, no, let, no, let, let, let's work that out. So... Well, all we have to do is really put one of these equations into the other and eliminate the z, really. Okay? Uh, sorry, um, um, sorry, eliminate the x and, x and y to find the z-plane. So what I'm going to do is replace x squared plus y squared in here with z squared. Okay, so x squared plus y squared into that will be... So I can factorise that. Okay, get, get rid of the two. So our two planes of intersection are the xy plane, z equals zero, and the plane z equals a. So we'll ignore that one. Okay, now, at, in this plane z equals a, the curve of intersection is going to be x squared plus y squared equals a squared. Alright, so... Who can tell me, what do you think the actual um, set of points will, will look like? The solid that lies above the cone but below the sphere. What will it look like? How, how, how could you, just, if you wanted to describe it, how would you describe it in words? Did it remind you of anything familiar? Well, let, let, let's draw it first and then see if we can describe it. Okay, very, very technical, very technical words here. Okay, only single scoop, you know. <laughs> now, so, so we've identified the, the region. Now, again, why is this important? Why would you want to know something like this? I can tell you now, you're going to be integrating over regions like this in the second part of this session. Okay, so you need to know how to set up the region. It's so important. If you can't do that, then you, you've got, just got no chance with the problems. So let's have a look at the, um, the second... Okay, describe the curve of intersection. We've already done that. It's, a cir it's, it's this circle here. What is the projection of the region into the xy plane? Okay, now I'm not sure if I mentioned this in lectures, so I'm going to mention it now. Anybody want to, actually, before I get to that, what, what do you think the projection of a region in the xy plane would, what do you think it might be? Yes. So again, and how do you determine the 2D shape? So you're right. Yeah, so, so, you, you, so you're looking down, like, th there's a couple of ways, right? Imagine you're up here, like it's the sun's above the z-axis. What sort of shadow does this, and, and the sun's right, you know, uh, like above here. What sort of shadow does this region cast in the xy plane? Another way of thinking about it, a more technical way, saying what points in the xy plane are there, such that if you look straight up, you'll be looking at the surface. 
Okay, so for this one, can anyone tell me what, what the projection would be? Yeah, so we've got this circle, that's the widest, sort of the widest part of the, of the, um, of the solid. So if you just look at sort of the, the shadow in the xy plane, it's just bounded by this circle, but you want to fill it in, so it's a disk. With center at the origin and radius a. Now the projection is going to be very important, very important, because you, again it comes down to integration in higher dimensions when you move on to that sort of stuff in the next few weeks. <laughs>